Hello, I'm Bonnie, and this is Terry. And hey, gang. This is... this is the ultimate workout number four. It's going to be more of an organic routine. Now, why is it ultimate? Because we're going to take all parts of your body and make it work for you. But of course, you can customize your own workout, use any routine available to you, use video on demand features to pause and join us at any time you want. But you don't need weights, you don't need anything, whether you're in your home or office. All you're going to need is gravity and the levers of your body, your arms and legs. Ready to get going? Yeah. Let's do this. Here we go. So all I want you to do is just jog in place, smooth and easy. And really focus on your breathing. Everything comes from the breath, from the inside. Work from the inside out. Nice and smooth. Good. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Now, from here. Hold. Take a deep breath in. Breathe it all the way up and through. And then from here, center yourself and lunge straight back, alternating your legs. So you want to lunge back with the right and then with the left. Good. Remember, sure, make sure you bend your back knee. Ah, perfect. Step up and through. Good. Yeah. So the first part's going to work on elevating our heart rate and our cardio, as well as the lower body, using the big muscles of the body to warm us up. Yeah, four more. Do it. Go on. Four. Uh, three. Two. From here, widen your feet out. Deep squats. You're just going to squat straight down and through. And really take your time on these. Really feel the muscle working. What I want you to do, what I want you to do because we don't have weights, is to connect your mind to your body. Don't be outside thinking about lists and all the things you've got to get done. Be right here, right now. Squeeze through. Feel your muscles working. Yep, chest is up, shoulder blades drawn down and back. Maybe 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, oh yeah, 4. This is going to get crazy. Two more, one more, and jog again. Bring yourself all the way up and let your arms start to work with you. Ah, ha, ha. So we're all connected, it's one big chain of muscles. You can't isolate a muscle. The only way you isolate a muscle is cut it off your body, stick it on a table. There it's isolated. When it's inside your body, though, they all work together. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Try to go a little faster. There you go. Nice. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And now from here, you're going to Still back into the lunge position, but come through quicker and stay on the right side. So pull your knees all the way up and through. And again, you're pulling. You're not pushing off the back leg. Pull to that heel. Use your butt and your hamstrings on the left side. Come on, come on. Uh, uh. <clears throat> Swing, moving, everything. There's a counter exchange between your arms and your legs, just like you're running or walking. Yeah! <laughs> Ten more, go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Step that foot up, other side. Just go reach back and pull through. Yeah, nice, Bonnie. Staying on the heel of the front foot, really pulling up the hip and the hamstring. Oh. Come on, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, four, three, two. Now we're going to get old school on you really quickly. Back up a little bit so we can get a little more room. Jumping jacks. You're going to bring your arms up overhead and swing the arms. There you go. And the legs come out. Yeah. Perfect. So again, you're feeling the heart rate go up and down. Calves are working, inner thighs are working, outer thighs are working, and your shoulders are starting to get heated up. Oh, four, three, two. This is nice. You can find you can go at your own pace, widen your feet out, go to deep squats, pressing straight in. Nice. You need to use that pause feature, do it, to make sure that you're in a deep, nice squat position. From here, just come halfway up and all the way down. So you just want to come halfway up, and you don't want to lose the contraction on the muscles. Perfect. You want to feel the weight of your body pulling right down into the floor. And only halfway. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
When you're doing it halfway, you're getting all the full burn. That's the sports school way. Ah, come on, a little quicker now. We want less than a full burn. That's right. <laughs> we are here, get your money's worth. I love it. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Now, from here, hold it that halfway. Hold it right there, staying strong to your midsection. You're going to deep squat in and add one knee lift coming straight up to the center. It looks like this. Squat down, lift up. Squat uh. down and lift up. Good. Squat down, lift up. Excellent. Use that pause button. Break for a moment. Gather yourself in. If you're not sure of the routine, watch. You can pause at the top, see where we finish. Yeah, and then come right back and join us. Perfect. Up. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Ah, very nice. nice. Not bad. So from here, <coughs> have a nice strong balance point. Stay strong through your abdominals. Push your hit, your fists in toward the floor. We're gonna open up your heart to the ceiling and raise your arms up halfway and hold them there. So this is the end position. When you come down, I want you to come down just as slowly. So really think about lengthening the entire way down. Good, back up. Very nice, and then down. But don't come quite to your side now. So here you are, about four or five inches away, and then back up. Arm is long, long, long. Shoulder blades are drawn down and back, and really focusing on the breath. Nice. The longer the lever, the harder it is to move. Physics 101, up and down, go. Perfect. And then I want to pick up the tempo just a little bit. Yeah. Muscles are made to move. That's what they like to do. They don't like to be sedentary. And, oh. So give me eight more. Eight. Seven. Here's two. One. Hold your hands. Have Halfway, rotate your palms and open them to the ceiling, and then point your fingertips all the way to the all the way to the sky. So from here, bring your arms up overhead in an arcing motion. Put your fingertips together, and then drop them down halfway. But keep your chest elevated, lift up and down, almost as if something were lifting you from the middle of your spine upward. So what you want to do is think about lifting all the way up and through the back of your spine. So come all the way up to the top, Ani. Perfect. Yeah. Sorry, I'm crunching and then back down. So lift there. Now do it. Okay. Oh, very nice. So keep that chest up. Beautiful. Express that chest, stick it out there, and then bring it all the way up, and then down. Bring it up. Yeah, give me two more of these, and then we're gonna go halfway. So bring it all the way up, one more. And now, from here, bring it halfway down. A little higher. Yay! Through the back of your hands, the back of your wrist, you're gonna drop down to the floor and back up. Down and up. But don't let your arm pass your midline, this little section right here. You wanna be right out from your shoulders. Press. Yes. Very nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Hold. Imagine you're holding big rocks in each hand. Just hold them out there. Just imagine you're holding those rocks. Five more, down and up, go. One, two, <laughs> three, four, and let them come all the way down by your side. Oh, shake your elbow. Okay. Shake everything around. It's time for a little breath break. So we're gonna bring our hands into reverse namaste, if possible. So you bring your palms together in between the shoulder blades. It's like this. Don't be discouraged if you can't get your hands into this position. Just go ahead and either hold your elbows or even just the wrists. Good, so from here, just take uh, one foot forward and the, the back foot at an angle. Line up your feet heel to heel, inner edge of the front heel with the outer edge of the back heel. So know you were better. This way? Better um, would have space laterally than to overcross the back foot. Okay. That's it. So you want to start out with your hips really square. Look forward, lift your chest, open the chest, roll the shoulders oh. back and down, 
And then from the hips, exhale as you fold forward toward the front leg. And you only need to go as far as you can, keeping the back flat. Okay. And deep breathing here. So really breathe into the resistance. And at the same time, try to lift the shoulder so that your collarbone oh. area stays open. Oh, wow. That's it. As it gets tighter, it's, it's, I guess it's really important to focus on the breath into the tightness, is that right? Yes. Yeah, you want to send more oxygen to those muscles that are really needing it. So inhale, look forward, pull your chest forward, and press your feet to come up to standing. Good, and then just leave your arms there and pivot to the other side. Take a deep breath in, lift your chest, press the back heel a lot. You don't want to let that back heel come off the floor as you fold forward. I gotta admit to you, as an athlete, my ego's flaring up pretty big right now because I see you with your hands behind your back and you have this nice long lean over. Yeah, well my ego was flaring up pretty good in those jumping jacks. <laughs> How can I fight that? Is that is that something normal that an athlete has to realize? That it's okay to, to I think to that struggle everybody, it? it's not just athletes, we all wanna do things well. And we get attached to being good at things. When we need to just realize that it's, you know, it's all a journey. And if you try to go go ahead of where you're at, you're going to get injured. Pull your shoulders back, open your chest. And let's inhale, look forward, pull the heart forward. And come on up. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, very nice. So I'm going to have to shake that out just for a moment. If you need to pause, take a break, <laughs> do so, and then come back and join us. So from here, what I want you to do is, <coughs> Put your feet about hip width apart. And instead of lunging back now, we're actually gonna lunge forward. We're gonna create movement going forward and then actually have to stop it and push back. So what it's gonna look like is, you're gonna press forward, dropping your knee down, press back and switch sides. So you step through and press back. So now it's a pushing motion off of that front foot and you push back. Does your Perfect. knee touch the floor in the it back? It doesn't. You never wanna touch your knee all the way down to the ground. First of all, it can hurt. You never know you need to go that far. Yeah, there you go, step through. Then I want to add something from the upper body. So what I'm going to do is imagine I've got the heaviest weights possible in my hands. So as I lunge forward, I'm going to do a bicep curl. My chest stays up, shoulders stay down and back. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Good. And when you're pushing off, you're actually pushing off the front heel, not the toes. So your foot will sort of roll forward, but then you'll roll it back onto your heel to push back. So you're stabilizing, staying strong through your midsection, the core of your body, the most important part. It's always working in everything we do. And that includes sitting, driving, every part of it. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Some more of that sports school math. Let's do eight more. Here we go. Come on. Seven. Yeah. Six. Five, four, three, two, and then hold. Bring yourself all the way back. Take your hands straight up and make them be right at shoulder level, right? So you're right here, straight from your shoulder out through your fingertips. And then turn your palms so they face outward from you. And think about reaching through the heel of your hand straight out. From here, just lift up about five inches up and then down, up and down. What you really want to do is you want to press your chest forward and pull your shoulder blades in and back. Pull them back in there. Perfect. Yeah, so we're lengthening that muscle as well as strengthening it. Again, gang, you don't want really small, tight, balled up muscles. You want nice, long, lean ones. Yeah. Most of the things we do, working on a computer, writing notes, all these things are all in tight to the body. So now we want to lengthen the body to create strength and ultimately a better lifestyle. Oh yeah. Now, what we're going to do here is going to pick up the pace a little bit. So just press. And think about, again, pushing through those palms, dropping through your shoulders. When you start getting tired and you start feeling this start to happen, release it. Breathe into that area. Much like Bonnie was teaching us with yoga, same thing for athletes. 
When you get that nice tightness going on, breathe into the area. Then you can work through it. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and bring them all the way down and set the palms right on top of your legs. Now, your feet are going to be about four inches apart. So from here, you're just going to do upward lifts. You're going to press straight up, straight down. Nice. Do you touch or no? No, heels do not touch. You don't want to take the pressure off that muscle. Much like if you're working out with machines, you allow the weight stack to drop back down after every repetition. Well, every time it drops down, what you realize is your muscles get a chance to rest. We don't want to rest the muscles. We've got plenty of time for that. So again, in these ultimate workouts, the idea of ultimate is that one body part works while another part rests. For example, upper body works or lower body rests. Lower body works, upper body rests. It's the ultimate training. Keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to pick up the pace. And remember again, when it starts burning, that's when most people want to stop. They want to say, oh, I don't want to do anymore. That's when you need to start really working through it, breathing into that tightness, into that burn, feeling it. Yeah. Try to pick up the pace a little more. All the way up the back Keep of the Keep going. Not exactly. Uh huh. That's just the added benefit. A little extra bonus. Keep going. Then I want you to stay all the way up as high as you possibly can. Way up on your toes. Think about being think about your head being pulled up, lengthening through your spine. Way up, way up, way up, way up, way up. Oh my. If you really feel like a treat, hit pause now. Just hang out here for five, six, seven minutes. <laughs> Give me 20 more really quick small pulses. Go. Here. You can do it. Come on, Bunny. Let's do it. One, two, quicker. Three. Come on. Four, five. Yeah, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, ah. seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Stick a fork in them because they're done. Ah. Walk around a little bit. Just kind of let those calves Ooh. shake out ever so slightly. All right, I'm going to have to take oh. over here. So we're going to take a little breather break now and come back into Downward Facing Dog and work out some of the tension that we just developed in our calves. Mm -hmm. So you want to have your hands shoulder distance and your feet a few inches apart, about eight, nine inches apart. And then relax your neck and look up between the thighs. And you want to make your body into like a triangle shape. So I'm just going to work with Terry a little bit here. So Terry, bring your hands a little closer together so they're just right on your shoulders. Good. Your feet are good. And then press down into the inner hand and up out of your shoulders. So you go back a little. Oh, wow. Relax your neck. That's it. Pull back through your inner heels, inner heels toward the floor. And then think again about the front of your body lengthening out towards your chin. That's it. Take the tailbone and pubic bone up and back. That's it. And breathe deeply. Try to lengthen here. You roll the shoulder blades apart. That's good. Triceps toward each other. And then just go ahead and walk out your calves a little bit. Just bend one at a time. Oh, my. Yeah. It's got a little bunched up back there. So and another. Oh, it's so amazing when you work all these muscles. I mean, it's <laughs> so important to lengthen them, to really stretch them out. Right. And another way, if you're finding, if you have trouble, like you see Terry's back is a little rounded here. If you have trouble getting that straight, bend both your knees. And then just really lift the tailbone up and back through the shoulders. Relax your neck. There you go. And then you get more oh, of yeah. the angle that you're going for. And you can work here for a while and then slowly begin to straighten the legs. That's, yeah. That goes a thousand times better. <laughs> We're going to go still from difficult. here. Bend your knees a little bit, and we're going to go from here, walk your hands back to the feet. Interlace the hands behind you. Straighten your elbows, and bring both hands, the arms overhead. Relax your neck. And just breathe here. If your hamstrings are all right, you don't have any injuries, go ahead and begin to slowly straighten the legs. It's so interesting with my hands. When I open my eyes, I see the whole world is upside down. It actually feels good Sometimes <laughs> to, to look at it in a different way. Uh -huh. Reversal. Mm. 
I know in yoga they go upside down a lot. Is that that's important? Um, I know as an athlete, I always usually see the world in, in one way. But sometimes maybe it, does it help you if you so go upside down? Take the pressure of gravity off. Go uh. ahead and bend your knees, drop your hands to the floor, and we'll just go ahead and roll up through your spine. Bring the head up last. If you ever get dizzy, it's a good idea to just tuck your chin to your chest. Lift your chest. Oh wow! So take one more breath break. Oh, if you're like me, you have to actually let those muscles go for just a second. And then what I want you to do from here is I want you to push your heels into the ground, about hip width apart. Press your palms back behind you, but don't let your chest rotate forward. So you don't want to come back here. What you want to do is keep your chest up, and then from here you just want to lift up, up, and up. What you're really focusing on is the tricep and behind the shoulder. To work in the back and the tries, but again, keep those traps down. Mm. Yes. Perfect. That's it. Very nice. So reaching up, up. Now, for some of you, your flexibility through your shoulder may not be that great. If you're only going to here, think about dropping or actually pulling your, your fingers forward a little bit and reaching the backs of your hands up toward the ceiling and pushing through the heel of your hand down toward the floor as you reach back. You will still have that contraction in your tricep. You don't have to worry about really overdoing your shoulder. So for us, we're going to keep those palms up and also make sure if you're going really, really high that you're not going really high by bending forward at the waist or to the shoulder, staying up nice and tall. Let's do eight, seven, perfect, six, Five, four, three, two. Let it come all the way down and let your elbows stay right by your side. Just turn your palms upward and hold your hands out to the side. Perfect. Now you remember in the other ultimate workouts that we've done, we've done a lot of things with holding weights and doing external rotations. We have no weights, so we're gonna find a new way of compromising that. So what's gonna happen is move your elbows back behind your body. And you're just gonna tuck them right behind you and squeeze them in and let them out slowly. Squeeze in and down. And again, there's a learning curve with all of this. If you feel yourself creeping up into your neck, totally normal. The first time I ever did this exercise, I had no weights, and I thought, oh my gosh, big strong athlete, I can do this. The first thing I did was put my, all the pressure into my neck. So take it out of your neck and put it where it belongs, which is right by your shoulder blades. So squeezing all the way in and all the way out. And you want to feel your chest lifting up, your heart lifting up to the ceiling. So press in, in. And then I want you to squeeze all the way back behind you. Squeeze back as far as you can. Squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. It's almost like you have a rubber band behind your two elbows. There's a rubber band there, and it's, it's really restricting you from going any further out. So just a small pulse, squeeze into the middle of your spine. Squeeze in, 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 in. Draw those shoulder blades down into your lower back. Remember, gang, we didn't come out of the can like this. It took us a long time to get into these positions, to be able to hit these muscles and make them work in the way if you're feeling any stress or strain, hit that pause button. Come back and join us. If you're not in the position that we're in, you'll get there. Believe me, you will. And then let it go down very, very gently. Nice. Let that rest just for a moment. Make sure you have a little bit of space around you. Grab a mat, a towel, something. We're going to the floor. And for you. And for me. So, flip those mats out. Again, you can grab a towel. You can grab whatever's handy to you. Whatever's all nice, soft, and squishy. And then watch your back, use your knees, bend them, lower yourself down to the ground very gently. But I want you to sit up first on your knees and on your toes. Open your chest. Remember the exercises we just did. So one thing always leads to another. It's a chain of muscles. So what, even though we're gonna work push-ups, working the front of our bodies, we wanna keep those back muscles really firing, keep them in nice and tight. Put your hands out about shoulder width apart. Yeah, perfect. And all we can do is just sort of fall forward. Ugh and you'll actually be pretty much in the right position. My hands are underneath my shoulders. Bring your feet up to where you're on your knees, and you can cross one over the other, cross one over, whatever you want to do with them. You can click them back and forth, whatever. But from here, drop your chest down to your hands. So press down and up. Nice. Down. Up. Perfect. Down and up. Keep going. But what I want you to really focus on is pulling your shoulder blades together in the back and keep them squeezed in there. Keep them squeezed. Yeah, that's it. What that does is it opens your chest and allows your heart to lead the way. How many times in our life do you think, oh my gosh, I wish my heart would just tell me where to go? Well, 
Here's your chance. <laughs> so you just press straight down, straight up. Heart is leading the way. Give me eight, seven, six, five. Very nice. Four. Pushing through the heel of your hands. Two more. One more. On this time, let yourself all the way down onto the ground. Oh, lower yourself down. Now look where your pinkies are. Kind of make a mental note on the floor where your pinkies are, little small fingers, and place your thumb right on your pinky. So just like this, and then walk that hand out from there. Same thing on the other side. Place that thumb right on that pinky and walk those hands out to the side. So your hands are still in line with your chest. From here, press up onto your knees, and you'll notice that you feel more into your chest, less in your triceps. So now just take it straight down and straight up 15 times. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. Go. One. Yeah. Two. Three. You want to increase the motion? Get off your knees. Ugh. Come oh, on. Big difference. <laughs> yeah. If you need to get back on there, do it. There you go. Good. <laughs> Six. Want to get really crazy? Pick up a hand. Okay. Wait. I think mine are too far apart. Good. Let's do four more. Four. <laughs> yep. Three. Perfect. Two. And then all the way down. Oh! Bring yourself back just for a moment and rest onto your elbow. Bonnie, how you doing? That was surprisingly difficult. All right. I love surprises. <laughs> so resting on your elbows with your palms up, extend your right leg all the way out and try to make a straight line between your heel, your knee, your hip, and your shoulder. That's excellent. From here, you're going to work your hamstrings first. So take that heel and just bend it in and extend it out. In and out. Yep. Bonnie's like a perfect model. It's really good. What you may notice is you have a lot of extra weight on this side of your body. What usually happens when that happens is you, you've kind of stacked your hips. You've allowed them to turn on top of each other. So what you want to do is lower down through your right hip. Drop your right hip down toward the floor and now bend. There you go. So it's almost like if you could set something like a plate, a platter, right across your booty, right across your butt, it would just sit there. It wouldn't tilt one side or the other. It wouldn't fall off. As a matter of fact, if you can, put a book on there. If it falls off, well, you know you're in the wrong position. Because it feels like the right hip is lower, although it's not. That's right. Yeah, it feels like the right hip is even a little lower than the left. If, you, if you're feeling stress or strain in your knee, feel free to move onto your elbows a little more. Good. Four more. Four, three, two. Now I want you to hold that knee bent and try to flatten your sole of your shoe to the ceiling. And then from here, just a small press up through your butt, through your hips, and actually your inner thigh. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. That's it. Yeah. Let's do 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 11, 11, 10. Notice how Bonnie's knee is not going much above her hip. That's exactly perfect. You don't want to go much above your hip in this position. Give me six, five, four, three, two. Bring that knee all the way down. If you'd like, you can sit back onto your heels just for a moment. Oh, yes. <laughs> Stretch into it. Oh, you know what I really want to do since we're already here? This is a yoga pose. It is, isn't it? It's child pose. Yeah, it's nice. <sighs> so what I want to do from here is go back to Bonnie's favorite, which is narrow push-ups. So we're already here, so let's walk our hands back underneath our shoulder blades. Oh! Uh, and take it down from here. Drop your heart right to the ground, and then press up and through. We're just going to do 10 of these. There's nine. Here's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, keep those shoulder blades squeezed together, two, one more, let it all the way down to the ground, all the way down, and rest there for a moment. Again, put that thumb where the pinky is, take it all the way across your body. Yep. Make sure it runs. Oh, yeah, perfect. From there, press yourself up. Right through your chest, 
and we're just gonna do 10 of these. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it 10 times, go. One, two, three. So hold it at the bottom just for a second. Hold it right there, hold it. I'm sorry, they need to see this, it's really important. This is where your end position is. <laughs> if you need to pause or stop and make sure you're there, do it. And as Bonnie just showed you, that's where the end position is. So down at the bottom and up to the top. Give me five more, just like that. Do it. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, and oh, on your elbows. Point. <laughs> Put those palms up. Resting on those elbows, extend that left foot all the way out, make a straight line between your heel, your knee, your hip, and your shoulder, and then curl that heel right into your butt. Oh, yes. Lovely. <laughs> if you can, because you've already worked your shoulders out quite a bit, think about lifting out of your shoulders when you're doing this. You can still drop your chin in. Just think about lifting out of your shoulders as much as possible and really lifting your heart upward. And breathing deeply into your spine. And as Bonnie showed us, or showed me, excuse me, in her yoga poses, it's really interesting because in this sort of muscular training, you really keep, want to keep that long spine. You can see how she's got a really, really long spine here. You want to make sure you lift up through your abdominals and keep a nice long spine when you're doing the work. So again, from top the bottom, as she extends out, she's really long and lean. Four more. Four. Perfect. Two. One more. Hold it halfway bent. Hold it right there. Drop your sole to the ceiling. So press that sole up. Yeah, perfect. And you have to think about leading with that heel and just drop. And then press, excuse me, press straight up, straight down, dropping that knee down slightly. Yeah, really focusing on your, your left butt cheek. Going, right? Yeah. So let me know when you start to feel something back there. Oh, I feel something. Oh, you feel something? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Remember, gang, if you're at home and you're watching this and you're smelling something burning, don't worry. That's just your muscles. Ugh. Keep going. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and let it all the way Ooh. down. Oh. Uh, from here, let's just uh, interlace our hands. Curl your toes under, your elbows right underneath your shoulders. And then stretch up into dolphin pose. It's kind of like down dog. Mm. Let's stretch out the shoulders a little bit. Same thing you want to think about in down dog is lengthening through the front of the body. That's it, Terry. Good, take one more deep breath here. And exhale and come on down. And then just come into an actual down dog, just for a moment. And you're gonna walk your hands back. And just hang over. Hold your elbows, release your neck. Just let everything hang forward from the hips. And if you have any hamstring issues, go ahead and bend the knees. Try to hinge right at the hips so that this oh. part of your body just falls forward. Let gravity just take your upper body forward. Good. Love that gravity. Yeah, and your head just dangles like a ripe fruit <laughs> about to drop off of the tree. That's it. You know, I call my head a melon a lot. Mm-hmm. Do melons grow on trees? I don't know. That's why I'm saying. They I don't grow know. on vines, I think. <laughs> Good, and then go ahead and just bend your knees. Inhale and roll up to standing. Ah, <sighs> oh, and you know that, that trick about tucking your head in, because sometimes I do feel myself getting a little lightheaded, that does really work. Oh, man. So from here, let's drop back down to the mat. We're going to finish up the rest of the routine on the floor. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been all the way around. Perfect. And I want you to bend both knees up, basically about a 90 degree angle from your hip. So right here, you can stack your feet on top of one another. You can put one behind or one in front. But bend your knees up to a 90 degree angle. Bonnie. Yeah. Perfect. Bring your heels in by your butt. Perfect. 
And then lay yourself all the way down onto your left shoulder and let your hand just sort of hang down, your left hand hang down by your leg. So see how Bonnie has her hand way up above her head? Pull it down by your leg. Perfect. There you go. Take your right hand and place it basically underneath the tricep of your left arm. Take your left hand, put it right behind the right tricep. You're actually gonna get to feel this motion. Believe it or not, we're gonna work your triceps. We're gonna try to isolate them as much as possible. Press through the heel of your hand to, an, to almost a, a half sitting position, basically. So come up, press through your heel of your hand. <laughs> you can okay, do it. Yeah, there you go. Good. This all is not way, easy. So if you don't get all the way up, all the way straight. Nice. So if you don't get all the way up here, it's okay. So lower yourself back down, touch the shoulder, and then press right back up and through. Good. Yeah, and then drop down, touch the shoulder lightly to the, to the other hand, and bring it up and through. I what you feel may like notice I have is that no control. yeah, you do. Actually, it's really good. What you may notice is your upper leg starts to come away from the other foot. That's fine. Your body's just counterbalancing. Your body's really smart. It'll find the position it needs to be in. So bring up to the top again, and let's go down and up for ten counts. Ready? Do it. Go. Down and back up. Up. Go down and up. Down. Up. Ah, uh, just hang out if you want to. That's fine. Need to hit pause? That's cool too. Give me four more. Four. Hit pause. Three. Ah. Uh, two. Ah. Uh, and bring it all the way up. Set the left hand onto the ground. Just spin yourself back around. So now your head's gonna be on this side. Yeah, perfect. On the other side. Again, bring those knees up to a 45 degree angle. Bend those heels underneath you. So what basically I'm doing is I'm loading up your tricep with your body weight. That's it. So I'm letting your body weight and gravity do all the work. That's why it's the organic ultimate workout. You don't need a lot of weights, all these big heavy machinery. You don't. You need your body and gravity and you can make it work. Nice. How Perfect. Can I just hold here? You can hold there, you can hold here, you can hold on your shoulder. You can even put it behind your head if you can, but you want to just press through that lower hand. So you press through here, you can pick your fingertips up and make it work. So press up, good. Then drop in. Perfect. There you go. And as always, one side may be a little stronger than the other. But also remember, gang, this is probably the first time you may be seeing something like this. Well, you may not really know the positioning, so you may have to pause and look and watch. Fine. Your learning curve is going to increase the more repetitions you do. Your brain learns that way. Drop in. Nice. And then bring it back up. Let's do 10. Nine. Take your breaks if you need to. Eight. Seven, six, five, even try it. So if you tried this once, four, then pause, give yourself a little bit of a break, and then try to do it again. I guarantee you'll be better at it. Give me two more. Up, one more, all the way through. Stop up here, nice job. Way to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna come on to all fours and stretch that out a little bit. Take your right arm behind the left wrist, come all the way down onto your shoulder, and just breathe into your back. In between the shoulder blades and all down the right side of your back. And inhale and come on up. And just go to the other side. Bonnie, does my palm face up on the floor yes. or face down, uh, face up? Yeah, that arm is just relaxed. See if you can come a little more onto the outside of your shoulder, almost as though you want to be on the back of your shoulder. So there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hello. Mm. Good, and inhale and come on up. <clears throat> so, so from here, let's go ahead and drop down. Let's go ahead and do some abs work. So really working on that core, strengthening through the core, which is very, very important. Flatten your feet to the floor. Drop your knees and point them straight at the ceiling. Drop all the way down and through. And then from here, squeezing through the middle part of your body, lift straight up and straight down. So just lift up and then down. Remember, gang, you want to lead the exercise with your heart, keeping your chin out of your chest, open up through your elbows. Mm. By the way, Terry. Yes. You know I have a sports school app strengthening. Do uh, tell. Video. Yes. So you can always, if, if this isn't a challenging enough for you, you can go to my <laughs> app lesson. 
So now from here, I want you to hold it all the way up. Keep those shoulder blades off the ground. Hold it up, bring your feet up. Point your knees straight to the ceiling, but don't let your shoulders rest back down to the floor. Perfect. So imagine you want to take your knees straight up to a target right above you on the ceiling or on the sky. Lift up through your hips and then drop down. Up and then down. Up. And it's a very small motion. So you're not, yeah, you're not rolling through your knees. You're lifting straight up and straight down. And you're only moving literally about three to four inches. That's all. The lower abdominals don't take a lot to and really engage them. But by keeping your chest and your shoulder blades up, you're working the top portion as well. Keep lifting. Yeah, so lifting right up through your hips. Perfect. Very nice. Up. Up. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then set the feet all the way down. Roll your knees all the way to the left side of your body. Point your right elbow to the ceiling. And if your hips are a little tight, you may not be able to get your knees all the way down to the floor. So what I want you to do is rest your head on your lower hand, and you're gonna lift up both shoulders. You're gonna try to take your upper armpit to your hip. So lift, up and then down, up and down. Nicely done. And remember gang, if you're not able to get that much height, it's all right. You'll build yourself into that position. And also if you're saying, oh, well, gosh, I've got all this stuff around me. You know what? No matter what your stomach looks like, you've got muscles under there. And if you can feel them working, you're working them up and down. But try to get that lower shoulder off the ground. Yeah. Squeeze up. 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 What you may find that helps you is just hold up right here as high as you can. Hold up and roll your chest open to the ceiling a little more and then lift to the side. So lift up and then down. Very nice. And then this time I want you to hold it all the way up and pick your heels up. Perfect. Now with your heels in this position, lift straight up and straight down. Lift up and then down. Up and down. Up. Very nicely done. So again, she's just collapsing this side down, taking the armpit down to the hip, just like that. So as you're lifting, keep that head supported and pull up from the armpit down to that hip and keep your heels elevated. Oh, that is so good. Let's do 200 more. Okay, just kidding. So let's do 10 more, okay? Here we go, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, let everything down. Let's hit the other side. So bring yourself up, spin yourself all the way around to the other side of your body. Rest your head on that lower hand and try to get that lower shoulder off the ground. Up and then down. Up, yeah, keep your feet down to begin. Perfect. Nice, Bonnie. Oh. Squeezing up to that side, dropping that armpit down towards that left hip. Mm, 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 mm. And now from here, you want to hold it all the way up. Hold it. Pick those feet up. Very nice. And again, from the chest, lift up, up, down, up, down. You need to roll that chest open a little more to create a greater range of motion. Do it. Yeah. Because you don't want to feel the contraction down into here so much as you want to feel it into here. Feel that rib cage open and then contract back in. Open and contract back in. Beautiful. Very nicely done. Yep, let's do 10 more here. Do 10, 9, nine eight, eight, 7, seven <laughs> six, 6, 5, four, four, oh, 3, three two, 2, oh, one last little thing. Bring yourself up, roll back onto your backside one more time. Oh, we're almost home. So roll yourself all the way back and down. Bring your hands back to behind your head. Rest on your fingertips. Bring your knees up. What you're going to do from here is you're going to do a full body crunch. So your shoulders go to your knees. Your knees go to your shoulders. Up. Good. Up. Lift your knees back and up a little bit. Perfect. So engage those hips again, your lower abdominals. Ah. Oh yeah, so it's one big tight squeeze of rectus abdominis, all the way from the origin to the insertion of the muscle. 
Remember, it's a long muscle. Runs from your sternum down to your pelvic floor. You want to squeeze it like an accordion all the way in and together. Very nice. Squeeze it up. Up. Let's do six more of these. Five. Four. Three. And then you want to hold it all the way up as high as you can. Hold it. Oh, no. And then do a very small pulse 20 times. Everything coming together, trying to keep your shoulder blades up as high as you can. If you can get on the one vertebrae, Eight, do it. Nine, ten. So hold it right here. Hold it. Wait, wait, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Squeeze up higher. No, squeeze up higher. No, I mean higher. No, I mean a little higher. Yes, ten more. Do them. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, <laughs> six, five, four, three, and relax yourself all the way down to the floor. Uh. Uh. Take a deep breath in. Take this moment. Take a little breath break. You don't have to be standing to take a breath break. You can have those breath breaks laying flat on this floor. Let's just come into a pose that's going to help release those abdominal muscles. Reach your arms out to the right and left with your palms down. Just bring the knees into your chest. Let's start with your head turned to the left. Take a deep breath here. And exhale both knees all the way over to the right. If you like, you can press the top knee down with the right hand. And just breathe deeply and try to relax everything from the waist down. I'm going to stretch all the way from my chest and my shoulder. Good, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's inhale back to center. Turn your head to the right and exhale the knees over to the left. You know, I use so much of my hips and everything that we do, especially in the ultimate routines. But I believe training the body in a 360 degree motion all the way around. This is a really great stretch. Good. And then from here, you can just bring your right hand over and press up to sitting. Oh my <sighs> goodness. So there it is. Ultimate workout number four. Check out all the routines we have here at Sports School. It was great seeing you again. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. See you soon on Sports School. Right. Thanks, Terry. Nice job. <laughs> right.